What is up guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all having fun and I hope you're all getting out on the water as much as possible. We are back with you from Reckless Riders Roads Greece and we are here with another foil review video. Now for those who don't remember, we are reviewing foils um, from all the foils we have and all the foils we can get our hands on within the Axis range, which is what we use. And we are not sponsored by Axis, so all the, um, all the foils you see here, I have bought myself, used myself, and everything I say is my honest opinion about these foils. Now we're continuing with the BSC range. For those who don't remember, the BSC range, or Broad Spectrum Carve, are very, very all-around foils, amazing carving foils, very user-friendly, and just amazing light wind foils if you want to get the most out of uh, any conditions out there. They are super, super nice foils. They are my personal favorite so far. Um, now, today we're going to be talking about the two middle sizes. That is the BSC 970, this is this bad boy here, and the BSC 890, this bad boy here. Now, here's where the the model really changes from the 970 to the 890. There's a massive difference between them. The 970 Again, for whoever doesn't know, 970 is the wingspan. So the 970 is 1,572 square centimeters. Let's get that out of the way. It is still very much like the bigger models. It is a fat foil, it's a big foil, but it has a lot more um, carviness, a lot more performance, a lot more maneuverability in building it because of its more compact size. And I have a special connection to this foil because this is the foil, the first axis foil I got, and this is what I did a lot, a lot, a lot of things on. This is what I learned my turns on. This is what I, uh, I did my first wave rides on. Uh, I even did my first jumps and 360s on this. Now, you might not be ideal for this, but for some of my size, it actually is ideal for doing things like these because it is a tough foil. It can take the impact and it still gives me all the help and, uh, and easiness I need for someone like me. I'm around 100 kilograms. Um, so this is a fantastic all-around foil. It keeps everything, the big sizes, the 1120 and the 1060 kind of keeps that feel. So it's really easy starting, really smooth, user-friendly, stable foil. But it can just go just a little bit faster, way more carvy, um, and way more playful foil. It's fantastic. So it's a really good foil for, uh, it's still a good entry level foil, but probably for a bit lighter riders, or if someone's like me, it's a heavy rider, but it has a lot of water sports experience or wind sports experience, this will get you going uh, as an entry level foil as well. It is a very good intermediate foil for people progressing onto the next level and kind of trying to uh, get out of the beginner stages and push and see what their foil can uh, can give them. Uh, but it's still super, super nice foil for light winds, for lighter riders uh, to get going in nearly no winds. I mean, you could get this going in very, very, very light winds, depending on your level and if you're not too heavy. I mean, I can get it going in very, very, very light winds, even though I'm heavy, but that's because I'm super used to these foils and I love them. Um, like I said before, it's much looser, much more maneuverable. It still matches up with a red fuse. And it has, I would pair it still with a free ride uh, rear wing, like the one we had on the 1060 here. So free ride rear wing. Uh, you could put the smaller free rides, the, slight, the different shape, small free ride foils, and they work very nicely with these as well. Um, but I would stick with free ride for this. I have matched it with a progressive, but I had to shim it because it just didn't work as well. Um, now this, before we go on to the other one, I'll just say this from the beginning, this can be used also for uh, downwinding, uh, for pump foiling, wake foiling, and windsurf foiling, and it's pretty good, like, like the, the other two, it's a really good all-around foil. Now let's move on to the 890. Here's where the series, the BSC series kind of feels like oh, it just unlocks a whole new world. So if you're going within the BSC series and you change from this one to this one, you're getting massive amounts or more anyway of speed compared to this. You're getting so much maneuverability, so much playfulness, such an easy use, but still user-friendly and controllable. Now it does have uh, less lift. It is uh, uh, faster for it doesn't go as slow anymore and, and a smaller and a um, bigger stall speed, but it is significantly looser. I would say it's a foil for intermediate riders and advanced riders for light winds or people just looking to advance, kind of push the limits of the foil and see how much they can kind of carve with a foil, how much they can uh, speed up with a foil. This is a good stepping stone to getting onto the smaller, smaller sizes. 
and um, still very all-around foil that is uh, very easy to lift and very very surfy now you can see the difference between these two even in the shape so they're changing the shape quite dramatically and the thickness so this like we said is a thick foil still keeps whatever the big foils did but this is much much thinner and you can tell that because it's also per paired with a black fuselage so we pair the 890 and smaller sizes of the BSC series we start pairing with a black fuse also uh, I find the best uh, wing to pair it with to really get everything out of the foil is the progressive rear wings and I love these rear wings are some of my favorite they will make that foil even faster even looser and even more performance orientated but uh, you still can put a free ride foil on this and it'll just make it a more beginner friendly foil so it'll be very stable and very uh, much easier to lift and get going uh, but it does slow it down quite a bit this foil gives you performance free ride gives you user friendliness and stability uh, this can be paired with both, uh, but definitely if you're looking to get to the next level, I recommend this. What size of the Progressive? I would say uh, you can go up to a 425. Uh, 400 is probably my favorite to pair with it for having some nice decent fun. So that's it for these two foils. I hope that was all clear. If you have any questions about how the foils work or any other questions about the foils, uh, you can ask Rocky or just comment and ask me uh, in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for other foil review videos we will be doing in the future. See you on the water.